and welcome to the PM show. Here we are with you on the 16th of September 2020. After a good delivery has come in, I have a delivery That's from it. a very well known manufacturer, well, stockist, distributor, yeah. retailer, seller from Matt, which yeah. I'm quite excited about. Got My some care good stuff package in there. has turned up. My care package has arrived at last. But hello, trust you're all doing very well uh, out there in modelling world. It seems to be still be quite quiet, but we have had some new releases and some various bits and pieces, which I've got down here, which we'll have a look about very, very shortly. But anyway, Matt, how are we doing? How's it going? Yeah, OK, thank you. Yeah, all good. I say steady, but uh, ploughing through pre-orders of P38. Yes. Steadily getting through them. So, yeah, it's good. Yeah. And, no, and okay. Vin uh, various restocks that have come in. So we'll talk yes. about them in a bit. Definitely. I must admit, it's all going on very nicely. So there we go. We'll start with that one because I'm quite excited about an aircraft. This I've sort of championed this because I do, it's just one of those weird things. When you explain it, it doesn't make any sense. But because you're actually buying a white box from Tamiya. They haven't even put it in a proper box. <laughs> yeah. It's one of their white box series. But trust me, the thing with this one is you just sit on it. You don't build it. You just put this away. So it's quite legendary, this kit, because we've had it on pre-order for quite a while now. We've got a little bit delayed coming into the country and stuff. Yeah. Um, not as delayed as this, though, because this was a special release for an air show in the US with this particular uh, uh, aircraft on it that never happened either. So the air show never happened. So that's why I'm thinking this one could be one of those kits that becomes a real collector's item in the future because it, it never actually happened. Yeah. because of covid it will be known as the the sort of tamia's 2020 release that yeah for all the wrong reasons which was a little bit weird but basically it's just standard uh, p38h lightning kit which you know we know we do the normal version all the rest of it but this was a limited edition run that they did with these markings on it for the said air show that never happened and again it's that typical thing it doesn't even come in a normal box it just comes in one of their white boxes with a sticky label on it so it's like one of the pre-production run ones, but um, yes. So eventually it's here. I have one in my crooked little mitts. It's very, very limited edition. Yes. And it's not often time you do stuff like this. So like you no. say, it's a proper collector's item. It'll be one of those ones, like I said, and I, you know, when the, we, we first mentioned about getting them, and I said, right, I'm going to have one, is that don't build it. Trust me, just leave it in the box. Just leave it literally what it is. Stick it in your stash, and in 10 years' time, the collectors will be all after them. Yeah. Uh, again, because you, you know a lot of people will build it, because obviously they'll do them in those markings and the various things that go with it. But uh, as I say, keep it nice. Keep the corners good, and you'll be absolutely fine with that one. It, it should be quite an interesting uh, thing to have in your stash, as you say, because it'll be one of those talking points, especially because if it's in your stash you won't even know what it is that's just yeah just a white box it'll be known yeah. as the white box <laughs> just be like the uh, white label records isn't it yes that's it that, that's what it is but uh, as i say because sometimes we do see some of these through pre-production runs and things like that but as i say to have a general release white box one by tamia of something that never happened it just got all of those things that are just wrong on every level but it'll make it right it'll be good in the end so yes yeah. but anyway you've been busy getting those out all week haven't you Yes, yeah, they came in and obviously yeah, I've been uh, and is invoiced um, everybody so far. We've got a few to do, which is the ones that are going abroad, which I think is going to do either later today or tomorrow morning, because uh, I just talked to him earlier, sorting the prices out for that. But yeah, just getting them ready and getting them out. So like I say, the invoices have been sent out. So if you've got one on our pre-order, then, you know, if you've not seen it, then, you know, please pay. Yes. And, uh, we'll get boxed up and out to you as soon as possible. So yeah. Yes. A load cool. went to the post office yesterday night. I've got another load going out today and probably some more tomorrow because there is a lot. We did have a lot of pre-orders on them. So I'm doing them in batches of what I can get in and take. So, yeah, rest assured they'll be gone. The 109s have gone. Um, they've all gone. Everybody who's paid for them, they've gone. Um, and, yeah, we're, we're getting there with our pre-orders at last. <laughs> getting it on top of it because everything seems to have came in on Friday. Yeah, yeah, definitely one of those days. Um, yeah, so speaking of the 109s, if I work along the top, look, because it's right underneath us on our screen. Okay. So uh, that one you've got there is this one here. That's the thick Which is the look. Galand one. Yeah. Um, so, yes, very nice as well. So obviously it's Eddard's uh, standard sort of 30 second 109 with, as you can see down in here, an absolute ton uh, of different options down in there. So, yes, that's, that's good. That's a hell of a lot, isn't it? How many have we got there? Three, six, nine, twelve, 
17 different ones? 17, 6, yeah. 9, 12, uh, 13 different versions. So, right. Yeah. And, a, and a figure. And a resin. And a figure. Galand figure. Is he got, is he, uh, you know, smoking? Uh, got I don't know, we showed it last week, I can't remember. <laughs> You'd have to have a quick look. But yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look. Not, not a bad sculpt, actually. It's quite nice. Hmm. So, yes, very, very nice indeed. Let's have a. A smidgy in here. Oh, here he is. So yeah. Oh, what do you get? What's the white thing? That's the know. tail wheel in white. Oh right, white resin is it? White resin. Yeah. Oh, okay. I wondered if it was resin, but yes. We have a little figure here. No, no, he's not. He's being politically correct. He's fine. Oh right, okay. Yes. You thought he'd have his cigar on, wouldn't you? I thought he might have his cigar hat at a jaunty angle. All the rest yeah. of it. So yes, so anyway, that's a, a very nice kit. Obviously I'll get that reviewed this week. Um, and again, I've got tons down here to show you. So uh, literally over the next, uh, you know, two weeks, I'll get all of these reviewed up for you as we make our way through. But that's quite nice. So that's the 30 second one. The yep. other one that we had in as well, to go along with the Spitfire really, yep. uh, it's quite nice. So again, you've got this version down in here, 48 scale. And again, this is a combo one. So you've got two in here as well. Yeah. And again, looks like, what do we get in here? We get wheels. Is that it? Wheels. Wheels. 13 options, two sets of wheels. And a mass uh, set. Uh, and you get a figure. You get him again, do you? In oh, you get the seated. Oh, that's it. You get the seated one in that one. Seated pilot. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so you could have him uh, looking out the cockpit. Ah, got you. Oh, yeah. So there you go. You get a seated version of him in here. And again, it's weird. It's the first time I've seen this white resin. All right, but it seems uh, to be a thing for tail wheels. Perhaps it's a new thing then from uh, Eddard. Yeah. So, yes. Nice, nice uh, resin though. It is. Oh yeah, it's all very, very nice resin with theirs. So again, so we've got that one in as well. So just, talk just, about anniversary Battle of Britain. It's very good. Yeah, just to say, um, we've got some more of that version coming in to have in the general store. Yeah. Because obviously the pre-order ones we'd ordered in and um, they've all gone. So we're going to get that one back in and we'll put that in so i think we'll probably get some more spitfires in as well to be honest yeah so if you want uh both together yes so but yeah. again it's quite nice actually because as i say it's one of those things obviously we've just had the anniversary of battle of britain day which was yesterday yeah and uh so we say we got the spitfires down there the early spitfires to say it's just hurricanes we were sort of let down on would have been nice you will let our don't do one do they so no no you know because uh, just just talking about the things, they're bringing out the 110, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. I've got, it, I've got it on my notes here. So they're doing the Battle of Britain, which is a C, 110C, I think. Oh, yeah, B, maybe. B, C, I don't know, 100%. But anyway, they're doing it 48 and 70 seconds, so that's going to be another one to add to the Battle of Britain sort of uh, collection that they're doing. But yeah, mm. it needs a hurricane, really, doesn't it? So, so you need a hurricane in the group, yes, definitely. Yeah. Mm. You'd have thought they'd have uh, asked somebody who's, um, who's tooled one to... Borry their Does mold. Hasegawa do a 48th one? I don't think they do a Mark 1. No. I think there's a Mark 2. The only ones yeah, I know of is right. Italeri and uh, Airfix. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. Yes. Mm. Very underrepresented aircraft, as we say every week. Yes, it is, <laughs> definitely. It? Definitely. One of those things. You know, you know, you know what will happen this time next year. We'll have piles of them. Everybody yes. will release one. That's yeah. it. Tamir will come out with one. Yeah, so well, that would be nice. I'd like that. If they could do yeah. it in 30 seconds, that would be lovely, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah listening to Tabia. Fair enough. Anyway, uh, next up, go on then. Show them the, um, uh, the Blitz tanker wagon. So, yeah, to go with your 109 or Stuka or whatever else, this has come in. So, this is Italia's Opal Blitz, I think it's based yes. on. And you have got, yes, Saint Malo, France, 1940. There you go, I'll show you the back. Mm -hmm. And then so some got... funky camoed ones, but yeah, you can do it as an early refueler from the Battle of Britain. So yeah, that's quite. And we, a nice if you addition. remember, if you are uh, follow us, you'll know me and Matt were talking about a three wheeler one from uh, uh, times gone by from the REF because we were talking about doing a yeah. refueler for our yeah. set. This is it. This thing over here, a Thompson refueler. Because we were on about using <laughs> the Bedford QL, weren't we? And then that's yeah. forty two onwards. Um, there is also an Albion, 
refueler, which mm -hmm. you can only get in 48th. There's no 72nd or 76 or anything. So the only one we could find, which Gary from Tiger Robbies told me about, was that one, which mm -hmm. is a diecast kit from Oxford Diecast, yes. I think, do one. Yeah. And that's it, I think, yeah. That's it. But yeah, so there you go. You've got the uh, the Germans being engineering excellence, do, delivering a vehicle like that, early, well, late 30s. Yeah. Britain, we've got this. We've got a freewheeler. How the hell we ever <laughs> won the war? Is, actually, the Battle of Britain is <laughs> beyond me. We've got a freewheeler. It's, like it's an early Reliant Robin, really. Yeah, it's a stretch. It's a stretch for like Robin Chanka. So it's like, oh my God, it's amazing, isn't it? You see that and it's like, how did we do it? So anyway, that's it. That's genius. Whoever thought about doing a three-wheeler where something's full of fuel, oh, yeah. go it's, around the corner and tip over. It's like cost cutting, isn't it? <laughs> that's that's um, like shed engineering, I reckon. It is. That's what yes. we're good at in the UK, isn't it? <laughs> Picking things up in sheds and garages. That's it. It was the thing where, you know, rubber is at a premium, so we just put yeah. three wheels on it instead of four. Why not? Why, why waste rubber when you can stick it on the aircraft that we need it? Well, this is true. I'm surprised it's not an awesome car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that was probably <laughs> with, the week before. Wheels. That's what it replaced a Shire horse called yeah. Ned. <laughs> anyway, so we got those in. Yeah. Uh, they are in as well. So you say, if you want something a little bit different, and say Italy have jumped in a little bit doing these things. Yeah. Uh, next up as well, we've got the uh, these ones down in here. Which one have I got? Uh, which is this one i've got volume one which will be that one then yeah. okay so this is the oldsmobile um i say from old robin olds with his phantom yeah and again uh with scatman again really very very nice kits again we've spoken about these because these are the actual hasagawa reboxes yes so uh, it's been spoken about, obviously, with some of their ones, all the various things they do in there. But you get all the nice things to them as well. Uh, yeah, and again, a, a mass set. And you get a mass set, which obviously are clearly the future. So again, I'll do a review of that one as we make our way through over the next uh, week as well. So we've got those uh, currently in stock, making their way through as well. And again, we've got two versions of that. So we've got the Aces 2 one over here as well. So you've got Aces 1 and then Aces 2. This one's the D version. Mm. so slightly different version down in there again i'm currently building the hellcat which by the power of um if i've got the right even got the camera on in the spray booth there it is that's the uh the very nice hellcat which is currently in primer goes back to front <laughs> so it's all in primer and ready to go and i've just done the white coat underneath on that one so we are just about to jump in with, uh, we've got attackers down in here for the actual uh, intermediate blue, and then obviously we've got the dark blue as well for those ones as well. So that one's going ongoing at the moment as well. So again, that is a very, very nice kit. And he said for 16 quid, it's bargain. a bargain. Absolute bargain on that one. It's one of those ones where it's like, it's ridiculously cheap and the detail is fantastic. And again, if you want to see more about that one, it's over on the actual uh, the Flory model site. There's loads of photos and I show how to do seat belts using foil, using the decals, which works absolutely fantastic in that one and works an absolute treat. Um, next one up down in there, we've got the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, ZSU 57 two. There you go something a little bit different as again it still looks like it needs another wheel it, just does. A... <laughs> it does look like it's missing a wheel doesn't it <laughs> so again this is the um uh hobby 2000 which is the tacum kit which is the tacum let... kit yeah you get so loads hobby... of options though you yeah that's it loads loads of options with that one so mm. it's been widely used shall we say around the world well yes that's it, it i think in different it... hot spots uh... so, I think it's one of them, if you like your weathering and distressing, that's the kit to do. Yeah, look, and you get all the shells for it. Yep. Lots of shells. Road wheels are separate, so it's dead easy to do your tyres. There's a few links in there. Jesus, you know what we were talking about earlier? I think you might need an aftermarket set for that. I, I'd definitely be doing metal links with that, I think. So, yeah. But no, tons and tons of plastic in here, I have to say. Loads and loads in here, and then, oh, just got to get in, oh, I'll come back a little bit, that's the bit we wanted. Again, option wise, some interesting schemes down in there, is that an Iranian one then? Yeah, it is, that Iranian yeah. one. Yeah. 
so again, we've got uh, the Vietnamese one, and we've got, who else have we got in here? Everywhere around Egypt, clearly. <laughs> so, oh, Finnish, I didn't know the Finns used them. No, I didn't, actually. Crikey, and then right the way through to, who else we've got in there? East What's German. that, Syrian? It's Syrian, I think it's East German one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we've got a Soviet one, obviously, yeah. we've got a Serbian one, uh, we've got uh, North uh, Iraq, I don't know why that would be different from Southern Iraq, but anyway, and uh, as you say, yeah, no, an East German one as well. So, so. plenty of options, isn't there? Mm, and a Serbian one, so yes, nice little load of options for that kit. Again, it's one of those ones that's got tons in here. Literally, it just keeps giving. So you've got all your photo etch, you've got all your stuff in there as well. So that's actually very, very nice indeed. I'm going to need a bigger table. <laughs> yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so uh, Hobby 2000, as you say, a lot of people have been discussing that they're just reboxes. Um, yes, they do rebox, but also they enhance and they add a few bits and pieces. But mm. it's not just Hasegawa reboxes, and they do do a few of their own as well isn't it so well for that i know they've done those uh for Jimmy, they started off with then they're doing hazagawa and mm -hmm. then the tacker one's the first one that i know of for armor that's their first armor rebox so what else they're going to jump on i don't know but they're mm. doing some interesting stuff i think i was going to say it's got all different bits and pieces yeah. in there and as i say it's nice with the actual the options to get for the markings and the various yeah. things like that so yes right okay up next is Ooh. the icm Steerman, and I know why Matt sent me this one because he knows I want to build it. Well, so because we'd be gladiator. He gets, he's trying to throw me under the bus now because he knows full well I've got a real soft spot for this one. So <laughs> this why this one's turned up. So uh, yes, so that good little guy as well, absolutely fantastic. I say if it's anything like the gladiator, it'll be beautiful. You know, I haven't seen it yet, so it'd be nice to do a review on this one. But again, it's like the gladiator. It's such an iconic aircraft. I think it's probably more iconic, especially obviously for. Our American viewers, uh, mm. obviously being primary trainer, it's just one of those aircraft that's timeless. Yeah, they're still flying today like they were 80 years ago. So, you know, it is, it's one of those ones where very, very nice indeed. Okay. So can, can I just say, though, mm. whatever you was going to have next on the bench will now be put back because when you've reviewed that, I bet you'll want to build it. <laughs> well, that's got rigging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so up next we have... The Warrior. Yep. So, am I right in thinking the last time we saw a Warrior was Academy? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Well, that a few um, years ago now, wasn't it? Was it? Mm, yeah, it must have been mid or early 2000s. Mid I would have said so. Yeah, which, to be fair mm. to the Academy one, was, is a good kit still. It's not a bad kit. It's just yeah. obviously now Meng's got on there. And um, I presume that's a more modern version than the Academy one was a, an earlier one. I'm not 100% on Warriors, what's what, but. Yeah. Obviously, you've got all the, um, what you call it, bed, bed spring armour or whatever you call yeah, it. Bed armour, yeah, bar armour on it. Bar yeah. armour, yeah. So, but so yeah. Box full, another box full of... Uh, I'm going to say, that's a proper chunky box as well, with it all in there. Yeah. So again, yeah, Yes, that's it. It goes along with, obviously, your chally as well and all things like chally, that. yeah. So, so, yeah, very nice as well. But it's nice again because, as I said, the, the, I, th I should think the Academy one was just on the brink of when we started to go to the sand pit. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It, it's it's in that sort. I think it's more of the earlier one. They they did a lot of, obviously, with the colouring, I think, on the box on that one. It showed it in desert as well. Yeah. But, um, again, it, this one is probably the, the more, as you say, up-to-date version. I think you might have to do a little bit of work if you want to do a modern warrior uh, compared to the Academy one. But again, it's nice because you've got the bar armour on that right the way through it as well. Yeah. So, yes, very, very nice job on that one. So that's quite nice. Oh, God, I definitely need a bigger bench. <laughs> okay, so we've got it there. And we've also got my new favourite company, company of the year, these will be. So yeah. this is a Yak 1B. It is. Yeah, it's one of their first releases, I think, after that um, trainer that they did, the issue. Yes. Have we not got it on the site? And, and then obviously the um, it's just in the normal arm hobby section. Oh, right, okay. uh, it's just a stock item. So I thought, well, seeing that you're you're a new fanboy of armor hobby, I'll send you that down to that. It'd be interesting to see how it is actually, because again, it's 
it's one of those you know they're obviously one of those kits now i've built them i've got a bit of a thing for them and i know how they go together and all things like that and again really very very nice it'd be interesting to see what that one's like because I say the wildcat is absolutely amazing that's yeah. like it makes the the spitfire sorry the hurricane look normal and the hurricane is absolutely fantastic and beautiful as well so that's very very nice indeed yeah. and then last up we've got a 170 second bedford there track refueler I thought you so better heavy? you better review one. Yes. You know. Even though we can't use it apparently. Not on but not on our project, no. Oh. So we can fit one into something else. Very nice. Why is it so heavy? Because it's not um because it was oh. cast it's a die cast kit originally and it's been got diverted, you. so you've still got a die cast chassis and Yeah, that's right. So you've got a die cast cab. chassis, got you. And the cab still does. Yeah, so it's well. the cab and the actual so the so again, I'll do a full review on these, so I won't get them out now, but you can see we've got a die cast, which is a beautifully done die cast, I have to say. That's not just a, just a ropey pull, that's actually very nice. And the cab, because yep. I thought it just felt very, very heavy. Yeah. So yes, very nice indeed. So again, I'll do a full review on that one as well. That should be quite nice. I say, because HM Hobbies, who's that, is a, is a die cast company, so... Um... Hmm. And a good quality die cast as well. They're not, you know, like you've just said, they're not they're not rubbish. They're really top quality die cast. So Yeah. Yes. Something a bit different, isn't it? Again, very nice indeed. Look, I'm trying to make a display here. Look, I'm just about, <laughs> I need a wide should have I've made the camera, camera go I put go wide mode. Hold on, look, hold on. Oh it is wide. Is that <laughs> it? <laughs> I've zoomed in on there, that's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Very, very nice indeed. Some good stuff in there. As I said, I'll get these reviews done over this week and next week as well. So it'll be enough to keep you going very, very nicely. But as I said, some very nice options coming in there. And again, if you've done pre-orders with us for the usual bits and pieces on there, again, if you get your invoice, if you can sort of pay, that would be really helpful. Not saying that there's loads of people haven't, but for people who might be a bit slower, if you have got a problem, let us know. That's yes, please nice do. Just be a little bit courteous and let us know. So you've got a little bit delay, you know, paydays, not for a couple of weeks or whatever. Let us know. We're always, you know, accommodate you as best as we can. Yeah. But let us know. Just don't let us leave us hanging because, again, we don't know. We might have other people who are after that kit. So. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, um, we'll move on to a few newer releases, as in what, you know, future releases, shall we say. So we'll go back yeah. to Armour Hobbies again. They are um, releasing a new version of the Hurricane Mark, Mark II. Which yes. is a well it's a mark II bc right which is a night fighter bomber version and this is the expert set one because i do believe there's a mark II c out um just a normal boxing of it which is a night fighter version right so obviously is this going to be 72nd or 48th 72nd one right the 48th version has gone a bit quiet at the minute so hmm. i'm not sort of Big backing deal. out of that one to be honest <laughs> yeah because that'd be really nice. Um, so yeah, that's that's going to be a future release from our Velvet. and also from Roden. Mm -hmm. If you like your bigger planes, is a, a peacemaker in one one four four, right? Which is a good scale for that because literally I've got seventy second yeah. one, which is yeah. just up on the roof over there, and that is just uh, horrendously big. And then obviously you've got the um, big resin one, haven't you? Is that forty eight? I think it's forty eight. Yeah, which is the HPH one, isn't it? Yeah, the HPH one, yeah, in 48, yeah. which is just, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mental. Phenomenally big. Yes. Now, I think 11443 is actually not a bad scale for that. Hmm. It'd be quite nice. So it'd be nice to see um, what Roden do with that. So, hmm. and then obviously, as we mentioned with the Battle of Britain stuff, it's the 110s that are coming out, which we will put on pre-order. So yeah. if you want to keep your collection going of these Eddard kits, um we'll, we'll put them up so yeah so that's going to like i say the 48th version and the 72nd version they are doing for the battle of britain so i presume that is a c and yes probably loads of decal options and whatever else that they chuck in and hmm. hopefully some nice fancy box art have you still got your spitfire there uh yes is it, is it the hand it is actually <laughs> could you just put that up and then put the 109 48th next to it <laughs> That's it. That's actually quite cool. It is very nice box art, isn't it? You could put that as a little picture on your wall. I think, you, yeah. So it'd be nice to see what they do with the 110. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I must admit, to be honest with you, when they first did 
this style, I wasn't yeah. a fan of it purely because when I do all my work, I put it down here. Obviously, I've got overhead cameras, yeah, and obviously photographing it. But I work as in that way, yeah, 16 by 9. So anything that this way is a nightmare for shooting it because how do you get them in? But that said, when you do start lining them up like that. Yeah. It turns. It, if you had another one, you could have it. I don't know. Sounds tacky, but you could almost have it like you get those panels, don't you? Yeah. With the pictures yeah, yeah. in three. That's exactly. And you could what just I was thinking. have it on the wall like that. It would look absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Because I was just looking. Obviously, like um, I presume that's a German cross behind the 109, and then you've yeah. got the the round behind the spit yeah. tires, as yeah. in a quarter isn't it really. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously yeah, the pilots at the bottom and, and, the, and the stuff because it's. I actually, I've never, I've not looked in both together. I think you let you right. They would look brilliant. And again, it's nice that you've got the ground scene with the pilots yeah. and the crew talking, and they followed it through. It would be nice, as I say, if they do the same type of thing with the one ten. Yeah. Well, yeah, with it in this format, so you could have all three in a row like that. But as I say, it's a bit arts and crafts. But John would look great on his wall behind him. I think they would. I was just thinking here. <laughs> So you need a shelf behind you and put them all on you. Well, so you know when the um, obviously downstairs gets done. Yes. Because yes. that's now going to be in progress. The um, plaster is booked in, so we yes. can get the office down. Because obviously winter's coming in. I'm upstairs on the mezzanine and it's freezing in here when it's uh, yeah. when the weather changes. So I want to get back lit, back in my office as soon as possible. I'm just mm -hmm. thinking they'd look really good. So when I come to you in a few weeks, you're losing them box tops. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come down and be cut out. It's like, where's me? Yeah, you come down one morning because I'm up early and I'm like, <laughs> got the scalpel out. <laughs> but no, they are really, really nice. Like we often talk about, it, don't we? Like, saying like Airfix do some really nice boxes, yep. but obviously with digital art, like these are, you know, yep. fully obviously computerized and all the rest of it. Versus traditional artists have done them and all the rest of it. But that, I, I think, it just really, really works the way that they've done it on those, and even the thirty second one there as well. That's nice done as well but having it with as you say you've got the cross there and obviously the models themselves yeah. and a little bit of you know with the crew underneath and that I, I do think it really is very nice it's very catching again when I first saw it I just saw it from a filming point of view of like this is a nightmare because mm. it's just the wrong way of doing it but I suppose also with this modern age of tablets yeah. and your phones it's, yeah, you, it's, it's, yeah. It, everything's it's, portrait and not landscape so it's, it's, that's yeah. the trouble it, it works doesn't it so it does it um, works but they are very nice but i think you'd, again if you did three and you had them even if you had them framed and then you put them up and that they would look really really nice indeed so yeah some uh some, somebody's thinking we like their thinking well That's yeah I, i'm just saying you know i know we've said this in a couple of shows but head on really need to start releasing them as separate yeah just they the you know i'm not being funny the man caves or living room or wherever you want to put them like mm. i say because they just make fantastic pieces of art they're, yes they're brilliant and then i think we you know if we do have some slower show shall we say because we've had a few ideas of of what we mm -hmm. can talk about i definitely think we ought to go down the box art yes nostalgia to now route you know yeah, definitely. Obviously back in the day with the roy cross sort mm -hmm. of air fix box tops which was obviously iconic yeah you go through to perhaps the 80s which weren't great and then obviously now to the digital age. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, and we can go through like the, our top 10 box. Yeah, top definitely. Or, well, oh, I yeah. don't know. We, we can get some out of this. But yeah, I think it'd be a pretty cool show, to be honest. Definitely. We will definitely do a special on that one. Yeah. I think we'll have a special all about that. Because again, yeah. it's one of those things, as I say, we do a little bit of homework, get them lined up. But yeah. I've got some firm favourite. I used to love the Matchbox ones. Yeah, I'm a year with Matchbox. Because they, they were just yeah. absolutely, you know, who cares? I don't care. It's just the picture I was sold on it. But, <laughs> yeah. but this is I'm worried about the kit it was the picture yeah but know? this is something again i think some of the manufacturers kind of overlook with the box mm. art yeah it's still that wow i want that because mm. i like the box art yeah, never mind absolutely. what's inside the box you, you know you pretty much when you were a kid you were sold on the on the box art the weren't box you? Art, absolutely you yeah know? yeah and like we've said before edard and airfix have definitely sort of embraced that sort mm -hmm. of side of it Yes. And it tells with, with obviously, the uh, Battle of Britain kits. Mm. Yeah, and no, and pretty much all their limited edition stuff, to be honest, has all got yeah. fantastic box tops. So, yes. yeah. Very nice indeed. Some good it stuff is. there. We like it. It is. It is. Um, and then, really, the other thing we'll talk about is we've had a few restocks, or we've got some restocks coming in. So, we've had a, an attacker restock, as in all the singles. All the single ladies. All the single bottles. 
But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so uh, obviously the tackle line, as you might know, for obvious reasons we've spoken about, we don't really need to go over again, yeah. but we don't do the sets, uh, yeah. but we do have pretty much them all back in now, as you can yeah. see. With the Why have we got an exception? Why is there two here we haven't? Why haven't we got somebody's Karki? Actually, somebody's just cleared me out. Oh, they, they, they're they coming Polish. in, sorry. They're coming in, because they're the uh, thingy colours, aren't they? Oh, right, okay. Yeah. And Half have glass. glass was out of stock. That's, I've ordered that because obviously it's what we've ordered. So anything that's not in should be coming yeah. back in probably tomorrow. Got you. But all the main colours are back in. I was going to say all the normal colours are know, in there. All the so RAF, all the Luftwaffe, all the US Air Force, the yeah. whatever, you know, are in. Cool. So, yeah. Good, good, good so stuff. The, the few that are out, I've ordered to come back in. So Yes. But no, we're pretty That's, much fully up to stock with that, those. That also counts as well for the clear coats are back in and the thinners. Mm -hmm. So if you if you like their clear coats and the thinners, they're back in stock as well. And also while I'm on restocks, we've got Tamiya glues back in, as in extra thin and quick set. Right. So there is no world shortage of that. No, it was the <laughs> white top, but yeah, no, I don't, that's, there's no truth in that rumour from what we can gather. Yes, so, say, take good. it all literally with a pinch of salt i think we think although yeah. we are sold out uh, the, yeah the white top is the one we can't get at the minute it, it's yeah. one from white top we could get a load of and yeah. get the extra thin and the quick set and now we've got them and the white tops one back order so um and also looking at the mr hobby stuff as well i'm about to put an order in because they albion alloys like i've said last week and probably the week before they've been moving to new premises i think they're back up and running so i'm going to back an order in so obviously leveling thinners cements metalizers everything you know primers whatever yeah. uh, i'm gonna whack an order in for them so cool. we them restocked as well fingers crossed so Very that's nice. all good 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 yeah so it's um, nice to see it's all finally coming back in yeah like i say it's it's, it's a bit sort of like buses nothing's around and then everything comes in at once so yeah it's, it is what it is so hmm. um Oh, and the other thing that I've just put an order in for is 502 oils. Oh, right, yeah. Because we have been decimated over the past week or so for the oil paints. So we've got yes. those out of stock. Yeah. So, so there's a big order gone in for them. So the usual suspects, smoke, neutral grey, starship filth, umbers, I don't know, black. Yes. You know, the usual. Buff. Buff. Yeah, the ones that we sell, yellow. What, all the yellow. colours that I might have used on a certain plane I did last yeah, week. Yeah, <laughs> it could be that. But yeah, anyway, the order's gone in for a restock of that anyway. So, um, yeah, give that a week or so. And we should, hopefully, if they've got the stock, be fully up to date with the Abteal lungs. So, yeah, yeah, cool. all good. So that, Very... that's, that's about it, really, for sort of What's restocking going on? and stuff. Yeah. Very uh, nice. And the only uh, other thing we're going to mention, sorry, was... Um, hmm. A certain 109 in 30 second. That was it. Now, this is something that came up last week. Uh, we briefly spoke about it on the Thursday night show. Um, and we thought we'd mention it on here as well. Now, yeah. just for the record, we've heard nothing from any official source that this is even Tamiya. No. Um, so this it's being touted that this is Tamiya's obviously uh, new 109, 30 second scale. Apparently it was on social media. Tamiya social media but it's Tamiya magazine has nothing actually to do with Tamiya it's like Airfix magazine and Airfix as yeah. in they, they don't have the uh, rights over each other they are separate entities mm. so we're not quite sure about it and I'm not even quite sure looking at the pictures but it doesn't look like Tamiya to me we don't know do we till we get a bit more info on it we can't see either way so if it is Tamiya's it kind of makes sense because obviously they've got a 72nd one, a 48th, and the natural progression will be to a 32nd 109. They're going to Absolutely. sell bundles of them. It would be a good business thing to do. It's a G6, so there's lots of decal options, and, you know, you could go on and on. Um, I mean, there is the Azagawa do a G6, and Trumpy do a G6 in 32nd. I think mm -hmm. they're the only two. Oh, thing you do, don't they? So, Revell. Yeah. I always forget about the Revell 32nd one. Yeah. Um, we don't know. No. It, Interesting it, it, anyway to see it could be a brand new company for all we know, or it could be Meng, or it could be any, you know, you just don't this, know until there's an official statement that it's, 
you know, who, uh, yeah, who, again, obviously for 109s, we've got the, the Ed Ardu there one, which is very nice. Uh, it's very nicely detailed and all the rest of it. But we've all often said that it's funny how, obviously, with the Tamiya line of things, it's missing. Yeah, they haven't done like the obligatory 190 and 109. Yeah. No. yeah, they've done the Zero, we've got the Mustang, we've got the Spitfire, they're all there. And yeah, yeah as we said before, 72nd they've done it, 48th they've done it. Yeah. We haven't actually got it in, um, you know, 32nd. So it would make perfect sense. And from their point of view, they've got obviously all the references and all the various bits yeah. and pieces. It wouldn't surprise me if they did. It's just that that doesn't look like Tamiya's standard CAD type stuff, especially that picture in the bottom left corner there. You know, yeah. the bottom right corner as you're looking at it, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Hey, it could be ICM. Could be ICM, that's it. Nothing wrong with ICM. They do I'm some not good saying stuff. there is. It, I'm just saying <laughs> it could yeah. be. But no. Like I say, it could be. It, it, until, like I said, there's an official announcement from somebody or a bit more um, information mm. that's been leaked. <laughs> yes. Of whose it is, then we'll, we'll sit on the fence because I don't want to say yeah. it's, it's this and this and, and it's not. So. But it does look nice anyway, whosoever mm. it is, if you know, it does look nice. It does look a good one, yeah, whosoever it is, it does look very nice. I must admit the detail is all there and obviously it's his early stuff as well. But yeah, yeah I, I think it, it's got everything you'd want. You've got a fully detailed engine, obviously it's got the cockpit, it's got the gun base, you've got everything you can actually want straight out of the back, which lends itself to be Tamiya, but who knows? Who knows? De definitely one of those things where it's like, you know, it, it could be. When's the next big model show due somewhere? Suzuka or something. Been, it'll be next year, wouldn't it? But the but Nuremberg would have been the first in Feb, but I can't see that happening. No. Um, and then it'd probably be the Suzuka one, would it Suzuka, be? Suzuka, yeah. Whenever yeah. that is next year, but there's none this year now, I don't think, because they'll all no. been cancelled if there was any left. Yes, yeah. Um, so I don't know. Mm. Yeah. We'll have to see. The plot it, thickens. It does, it does. It's one of those things. There's a, a scratch and say it's not a lot coming down the pipeline and then that drops and you're like, okay, that'd be nice. We like one of those. Yeah, well, the, the uh, Nathan will from the Luftwaffe SIG. Well, that's it. Another <laughs> one of those to add to the table. Yeah, that's oh, it. Talking of, talking of um, no, we're not really Luftwaffe stuff, but um, well, let's talk tornadoes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, after our sort of thing last week, uh, we had um, a comment put up, didn't we? Yes. I remember to say why nobody had got any from like the hard distributors. Yes. And basically there was a cock up by the sounds of it, to put it politely. Yes. Well, the thing is, we, I, again, some of you sent me an email that I think was a general one that just got sent out to yeah. all the stockists, to be honest. A lot of it, obviously, they changed the company names and things, saying that there was a problem in their factory, you know. So, and it's like, well, that could be anything, couldn't it? It could be from it's not producing through to it's gone to the wrong place yeah. uh could have dropped it as we said and all the rest of it so it was very very sort of gray but apparently some companies did get a few as you said before um mm. and they shouldn't have they should not have been released apparently they tried to pull it uh, yeah. from being released but some of it had already left the, t the factory which isn't working i don't know but anyway yeah. it, the, some of them managed to get out and they apologized saying that very sorry they actually were sent in error they shouldn't have been released uh so that way everybody gets them together but allegedly they're all now aren't they any day today now? today's Today. the date apparently on that email that they're going to get released from the warehouse yes so we will see hmm but obviously then they've got to get from Germany or wherever they're being shipped from to over here to be distributed. So, again, I think we're going to be looking at perhaps another week mm -hmm. yes. minimum before we start seeing them filter through to mm -hmm. to us. But, you know, obviously the guys on pre-order stand by because obviously uh, you're going to be getting another bill. Yeah, another bill. <laughs> another invoice this. coming through. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes. But at least they have sent a statement out of what's happened and why yeah because originally the, just no one knew and then all of a sudden I, clearly no one watches us but yeah. somebody must have said something because all of a sudden this generic email got sent out to everyone saying yeah. due to a fault in the factory a problem in the factory it yeah. should have been pulled but some of them did make it out apologies blah 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 so yeah so anyway hopefully like i said they should be here soon so we can get them sorted and processed as well mm. uh, and the other thing is a week on sunday is our next auction it is 
So the 27th, if I've got me days right. It is. It's Sunday the 27th. 27th, 7 o'clock again. Um, and obviously this is for members, flooring members only. So if you're not one and you want to be, join. Yes, Like absolutely. and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yes, God. But again, um, uh, I'm going to get Andy to put the picture. I'm going to take a load of pictures and then Andy's going to put them up so people who can't make it on the Sunday night obviously can then put in a a blind bid. Yes. Please. Please, we'll say it here, and obviously Andy will re, uh, say it tomorrow and probably next week. But do not put it on the threads underneath the pictures. Just message Andy to say how much you want to bid because we want to keep it so, you know, it's blind bidding, shall we say, as in that. So, yeah, because otherwise, but yeah, don't forget the, the simple thing is people can see what your maximum is. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, they can just come in a pound over you. Because yep. they'll know what you're bidding. So the whole idea is they don't know. We will bid on your behalf via proxy. Yep. So we'll take like proxy bids and then we'll bid up in pounds or two pounds or whatever we're doing it in for you and hopefully get you the best price. But obviously if people can see exactly what you've bid, you'll just find that people just bid one pound more. Uh, and that way you Yeah, it takes the fun out of it as well. It doesn't does it? as well because people it know what you've bid And they know how much it is to start with because then you're either going to get no bids. Yeah. Or... People just yeah, shout like out and say, go in. Or uh, somebody's just going to come in and it. blow people out of the water and then it kind of kills the, the vibe of the night. So, yes. yeah, just like I so said, we'll, we'll go over this anyway in the next week or so is just to, um, when the pictures are up, just if you're interested in item, just PM Andy off the off the, um, off the site and say, right, my maximum bid is whatever it's going to be. And then he'll jot that down, put your name to it, and, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. For when we do the auction. And this time it's going to be a mixture of everything from aircraft to a ship to cars yeah. to armor we're obviously the last one because it was mainly nathan's stuff was all aircraft related and um, there's going to be aircraft in there as well so it's going to be a, a, a lot sort of um, bigger scope this mm -hmm. time yeah should be fun another fun evening it will be we'll have the usual giggles and everything so if you want to join us for a couple of hours we'd love you have come you don't have to bid you can just sit and watch us cause chaos yeah <laughs> that's normally yeah, what happens much. yeah <laughs> Anyway, we've got a couple of questions just to finish yep. off the show. So Tony says here, hi, Phil and Matt. I've been looking for a set of racing uh, car seat belts in 112 scale, but I haven't found any yet. Do you know of anybody that does them? Well, Matt had a look and come up with these. So this is uh, Hire a Boy and they do them. Now, they're currently out of stock, but they are there. The 112 style F1 seat belts and harnesses, 1591. But uh, they are out of stock. They do do other stuff. But um, again, uh, if you're into sort of cars and your bits and pieces like that for all your accessories for it, have a look at Hiro Boy. Cause they I was going to say, you might be able to everything. get them from somewhere else because they're made by Model Factory Hiro, is it? Yeah. Of them. Um, so just have a Google because if you're desperate for them, obviously there might be other people who stop them. We don't know. Yeah. But they're the ones I found out in a quick look on, to be honest, if, you, if it's car related or that sort of cars, bikes, Hiro Boy is the yeah. company in the UK to go and look for it because they have some, like we were just saying, they've got some fantastic stuff. Oh, they have some absolutely brilliant stuff. And that's stuff, what they yeah. specialise in, you know. Yeah. Where we're a general model shop, uh, as in for plastic and stuff, they are specialists in what they stock. Yeah. Um, so it's probably worth a visit. So we'll give them a plug. Yes, definitely. Because, <laughs> again, it, it's one of those things, like we often say, because we do general, yeah. um, you know, we just got a little bit of everything, but they specialise in that type of thing. So, yeah. you know, again, it's we often talk, you talk about them for paint as well. Um, yeah, because obviously the they do the specific car paints with specific colours, where general model companies don't really do it. Yeah. You might get the odd Ferrari red and stuff like that, but they do all the weird and wacky stuff as well. So, yeah, some great yeah, stuff some over there. So, yeah, a bit of a plug for them. Yeah absolutely so yeah but, check them out or like say perhaps shoot them a message even send them an email see if they're getting them yeah, back see in when or coming whatever in. if you if you need some but yeah so. yeah definitely okay, okay. okay. Uh, next up, we've got one from Nigel saying, uh, I've pre-ordered the 148 scale Great Wall Hobbies F15E. How long will it be till it arrives and will you email me? That is, I think they do. I've got to put the order in because and uh, Gary rang me from Tiger, who's doing yeah. the stockists of them, and I've got to get our order in as soon as now, to be honest. I could do with doing it either today or tomorrow. I did say I'd sort it for him because he's going to put it in, I think, at the end of this month, and then it should be the end of October, November time for his mm -hmm. initial stock of Great Walls coming in. And then I think it was the end of December, he said, for the full range. Yeah. 
So you're going to be looking November-ish, I would definitely say. Yep. And what will happen is um, Andy will probably send you an email for the invoice for it because that's what mm -hmm. normally happens. So, And if you watch these shows or Thursday night shows, you'll know. Yeah, or we always mention just, them on this you'll, show. You'll on mention Thursday it on your, one. you know, Phil yeah. on his own will mention on a Friday show to say they're in. Yeah. So you, you'll know one way or another. Yeah, we'll let you know. Uh, the other thing is, uh, one other question. I keep promoting your skinny sticks on my channel. Can non-members get them from the PM store? You can. If you go up to here and then yeah. go to the, like, the tools logo, yeah. it carries exactly the same. Okay, so you've got all your skinny sticks and the various bits and pieces in there as well, and obviously all the washes and stuff like that. Do you have yeah. starter sets? Uh, yeah, I've got to make some, to be honest. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Matt has the raw stuff up there to make them up as well. So, yeah. yeah. But anyway, we've got all of there. It's just basically a mirror exactly of what uh, is on the flooring model site. But yes, you can get them there. Then you can add them to your other orders as well. So obviously, if you're buying from flooring models, you can't add kits to it because we are 260-odd miles apart. So that's the yes. trouble. But obviously, Matt's got them up there as well. So not a problem. Yeah and last question is from scott he says hi team hope you're keeping well firstly thank you for the quick turnaround with my pre-orders for the eddard limited edition 109s no problem one of them uh yep. <laughs> will pm uh, be doing the pre-order for the upcoming eddard battle of britain limited edition bf 109 cd uh, that's yep. in the newsletter that came out yesterday saying it's a november release where well, we covered that earlier so yes we will yes we will definitely yeah yeah yeah, that will be coming along very, very soon. So, yes, no problem with that. Again, like with a lot of the stuff with the pre-orders at the moment, there's quite a lot of them. Uh, and they've all we appreciate... been in one go. I think oh, that's, they, they that's have... what's happened. They've all... We are yeah. hoping sort of the 109s were going to come in first and they came to, like, we got a few of them and then the rest turned up on Friday. Yeah. And then, obviously, the, the P38s turned up last Friday. Mm-hmm. And some else turned up as well, which is pre-orders. And I don't think it'd be a bit staggered, so obviously... Getting them processed and stuff is is taking a not a, a lot a, not longer, but you know obviously it's yeah. nice when they're a bit more staggered rather than in one go. So luckily, or whichever way you want to look at it, there's a bit of a gap for the tornado because I know we've got quite a few of them to get through. So yeah, the P thirty eight will have gone out by then, and then we'll be ready for the uh, for the tornadoes coming in and mm -hmm. invoicing and done for them. So yeah, cool, very good, yeah. all good. Right, well, I think that does us for today. Um, as I say, it's one of those things. If you've got pre-orders, check your junk boxes as well. Make sure that, you know, you haven't lost an email in your spam folders and things like that. It can happen. It happens yep. all the time with me. So uh, things like that. Don't forget, you get hold of us normally. Uh, obviously, at the PM store, there's a contact me page in here as well. Look. Yeah, so if you go email. in there, there's a little thing down in there as well. Uh, currently, the store is closed, so don't take any notes of that uh, <laughs> with the COVID thing going on. But as I said, Matt has got the plaster going in there on Saturday, uh, which would be really nice. So that would be our training centre stroke is office all sorted and looking posh, hopefully yeah, for next year. Well, so, we've been on about getting it sorted out when fall winter comes. We thought, right, I'll book the plaster in and he's like, say, coming a week on Saturday. Yeah. get that plastered and then we could get decorated get the lighting up and finish the office off so that's another bit done and out the yeah. way and Especially again it'd be lovely week. next year hopefully we'll be able to get the uh the meetup weekends going we normally yeah. do them once a meet uh once uh, sorry a month so we have uh, usually a little specials and the various bits and pieces we do there nibble and a chat it's like a mini model show as well uh it'd be nice to get those going but obviously all the time covid's going on the various things at the moment we're still in sort of lockdown as well so yeah that's not a happening, and hopefully we won't get a second wave. So remember, wash your hands, keep apart. What's the yeah, other thing? Advert, I keep it on the radio <laughs> every, every five minutes when there's yeah. a break. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Yes. Well, so yes, make sure you do all of that social distancing. A yeah. model, do modeling. That's exactly. the thing. There's loads of modeling to be done. Uh, anyway, that's it from us. Don't forget, you can join us tomorrow night. You're not on, are you? Unless, no, uh, no, no, you're off. He's we've night got, off. He's we've going. got the gruesome twosome tomorrow. That's, uh, are you going like clog dancing or something? Well, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Is that still um, postponed with the corona? Well, yes. <laughs> yeah, social distancing, clog dancing. Clog dancing, that's <laughs> it. Whatever you do up there up north. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll be on there with the guys as well. So it'll be Nathan and uh, Andy on with me tomorrow night if you want to join us live from 7.30 onwards. Obviously, we'll be discussing all things like this as well plus everything modeling related as we do on a thursday night then i'll be back with you on fridays as always for the roundup of the week to see what's all been going on so if that's it done then matt we'll that's call it. it right there yep. thank you very much for joining us this afternoon we'll see you all very soon bye bye, -bye.